you can show the uh, the direction of light that we started really paying attention to with the teddy bear exercise. It really is going to complement your uh, your dimension, take away those inconsistencies. There's nothing like having subtle con contradictions throughout your drawing. Some of them you just don't realize until you start understanding, uh, boy, if I really pay attention to light direction, then I'm not going to have it changing all over my drawing. Now remember, I don't want anything just start flattening out on me. So when I add some of the detail in here, you know, when I'm emphasizing some of it, I want to uh, make sure that I'm not making it just a filling in a spot or filling in a place. I'm always going to try and, even though I don't want to go too dark, I want to be able to show that there's a range of value because of the way light works and because of contour and curve. I'm going to have to look back in here on this lighter one and see, boy, look at how much that changes. When I'm looking at this particular reference here, this middle one, this looks very thin. I could really misinterpret uh, that. But when I get this one, I find out that it's quite a bit similar to this on this side. So clarifying that just so that I can now start creating a little bit of a tone here. So even uh, at the beginning, I can start changing the, uh, you know, uh, crowding this highlight over to where it should be on this side of the face. When I start getting some of these other values in here, then it starts subduing some of those initial uh, lines that I put on there that may seem uh, quite dark. It starts putting things into balance. So now this, uh, this fold near the, uh, you know, this deeper recess here for the, uh, near the uh, bag of the eye there or the crease coming down from the tear duct now it's starting to subside a little bit so it doesn't look like it's so dominant. This is also something you want to watch though as you're drawing you want to be able to use that as an opportunity also to uh, when this starts getting too uh, much the same as the surrounding area that's your clue to go ahead and pump it up just a little bit. If your 4H will allow that without pressing too hard then go ahead and, and use that once again. If you have to go up to your 2H feather on the next value. If you're very careful and you don't use too much pressure, again, you're going to have a much better, uh, uh, a much better texture, um, a much better, uh, oh, sense of what each pencil will do. I was uh, also uh, reiterating to Jeremy the uh, the uh, reason that I picked the uh, Dick Blick pencils, even though I like the feel of some of the leads on some of the other ones, like the Tombow and things like that, just it just, doesn't it just glide on for some of you who have, uh, you know, used them. It's a wonderful, uh, smooth pencil. The problem with it was that I couldn't get the proper incremental increases. And that's one of the things that I'm really interested in because I don't want you to have anything uh, that you're having to make an arbitrary decision on. The more incremental your values are uh, in just the right increase or decrease, then you can count on your pressure even more. And with some of them, boy, you'd get uh, uh, an HB, uh, uh, 2B, and 4B to almost look alike. Uh, or some of them are just out of order, even as wonderful as the lead feels. 
So that's one of the main criteria I have when I'm looking for a pencil.